This engineering change order in Eris Innovator was created as part of a corrective action plan to resolve a problem that was discovered in engineering. A lot of things change every day in engineering. Here on the impact matrix, you can see every item associated with this change, but not every change is carried out by the same team. In this change, it turns out that two items, both of them engineering documents, are under review by a separate team as part of a new workflow, an engineering document review or EDR process. Here in the workflow action, you can see how each step in an engineering change process kicks off a notification to the teams and roles assigned to that step. As each individual signs off on their part in the change process, an audit trail is captured and the next step is initiated. This ensures that every change process is tracked and standardized across the system. The EDR workflow depends on the release of the ECO. That means it's not released until the engineering change order is complete. You don't want a drawing in your system that doesn't match the part it references. So the EDR is governed by a sub workflow of the ECO. They both have their own separate processes, teams, sign off and audit trails. But anyone overseeing both changes, like a change review board, can get to all related items right here centrally as part of the ECO process. Now that we've checked everything over, let's go ahead and sign off on the change. The system tracks the steps we need to take to complete the change and requires a password or e-signature if you want it to. Once the change is complete, we can go back and verify that the part is indeed released, along with the document that was governed by the sub workflow. We can drill down into the part against which the change took place and see the red lining on the bill of materials to indicate what changed from one release to the next. Eris comes with a number of engineering change objects that work just like this, allowing for workflows, sub workflows, assignments to different steps for different individuals and teams, access to part information like viewables and discussion threads and connections to the quality process. Each object comes already set up according to the CM2 standard for change and configuration management, including our document changes, engineering change requests, engineering change notifications, and the ECO and EDR we just walked through. Your admin team can easily set each of these up to work the way your teams work, following a process that is as complex or as simple as you need. And reporting against ECOs is easy. We offer out-of-the-box reports to roll up all ECOs, filter on when they were completed, what their priorities are, who owns them, and more.